There's lots to discuss about what's happening in the Māori world. One, what's going to happen at Tete and uh, Waitangi on the 5th and 6th, whether John Key is welcome, whether he understands he's welcome, whether there's any consensus up there at all, and also what's going to happen at the Pōwhiri, or non-Pōwhiri, at the signing on Thursday. Let's start in the north. What's happening at Tete? Well, as we know today, there was a hui was called to discuss, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we heard Kingi Taurua had said uh, the, the Prime Minister and his group weren't welcome at Te Tī and he would lock the gates if he went ahead and signed the TPP um, on Thursday. Uh, since then, you know, there were people like David Samuels came out and told RNZ that it was good to have the Prime Minister, the government at Te Tī because that's the right place to have a discussion, a debate about things that, you know, you think that the government hasn't um, upheld the principles of Waitangi. We'll say it on the marae and they get to respond. So they held a hui today and... Uh, I think it was optimistic to think that a hui in four hours was going to solve everything. There were 60 to 70 people there. Um, a vote took p- place, I think 38 to 14 is what I'm told. 38, 38 to 14? Against inviting the Prime Minister. But, you know, these were... So that's almost three to one. That's right. And these, But these were people from all over Ngāpuhi. And um, at the end of the day, the marae is... Um, a whānau marae, a hapu marae and it's governed by a trust and those trustees have turned around and decided that they will um, under tikanga they've told me um, will invite him because it's the right thing to do everyone's welcome on their marae and Te Tifai Harawera who's um, escorted you know, for 10 years, Prime Ministers uh, onto the marae has rung his office and she has told him she'll escort him and he'll be fine with her. So 38-14 against, but Titi Whaiharawera says, hold on a sec, this is a whanau marae and I'm taking him on. What happens now? And what does John Key think is happening? So I think uh, from reading reports, I haven't heard back from the Prime Minister's office, you know, because we've been in here, but as I know it, um, he's probably a little bit confused, as he may well be. Um, the understanding is that there will be a meeting, a further meeting this this evening with the trustees of that marae um, to get some kind of consensus and then I guess um, either the tunnel or the invitation will go to him or they'll reaffirm, yes, of course you're invited, come on down um, and, and and I guess that the Prime Minister's uh, people will make a decision based on that. And he's still saying he won't go on unless he gets a formal invitation and is welcome to speak at Tete. Yeah, there's some confusion as to whether he will be allowed to speak but I mean I'm not sure where that's coming from and you know, in a porphyry situation, no one's um, no one's told not to speak. You know, that's your ability. It's a debate, and it's um, the marae, and you stand and speak if you want to speak. Um, so I'm not sure if if that is officially they're saying you can't speak there, or that's just been caught up in the confusion. So it's your expectation we'll get clarity out of the north at some stage tonight or tomorrow morning. Yeah, I think tonight <laughs> they'll have a hui and they'll um, work it out and. You know, Kingi Taurua and uh, Rihari Dagaville and Titifai Haruera will get together with a smaller group who are the trustees of that marae um, and the other trustees and make a decision. OK, fascinating. Let's talk about the pōwhiri because really, in normal circumstances, if we look at royal visits, if we look at APEC, if we look at, actually, as you were pointing out to me before, the Georgian rugby team. The Georgian rugby team. And my favourite was uh, Disney on Ice. Mickey Mouse received the pōwhiri when the Disney show came to town. In normal circumstances, something like the TPP signing would get a huge pull for you, wouldn't it? Well, that's what we do in Aotearoa, you know. You, if you are officially being invited or welcomed into this country, you usually get a full pōwhiri. And a full pōwhiri is, you know, the wero, they go out and put the take down on the ground, and then there's the haka pōwhiri, and the karanga happens. Um, and it's and it's a big deal. And, 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 and we've seen it so many times And before. it's stirring, and it's moving, and it's wonderful, and also it's large. Mm-hmm. Typically, at a very big event, what sort of size would we see? Well, I, I look, just looking at some of the, the uh, footage uh, today from the Georgian rugby team, from Mickey Mouse, and, you know, others like Venus Williams and Michael Jack. I mean, if it's on a marae, you get more because there's people just there that will join in or come and listen, you know. But um, if it's somewhere like uh, the casino or the town hall or something, you know, a good number is 50. Okay. 40 to 50. And how many are going to perform what is not now a poor footy at the signing of the TPP at Sky City on Thursday? We're told three or four. Um, by Tami Terangi, who represents Te Runanga o Ngāti Whātua. Three or four. Three or four. Will, um, it'll be small and it'll be simple and there'll be a karanga and he will do the mihi. And he you know, he wanted to make a point that um, he wouldn't be representing the government, he would be only representing Ngāti Whātua, which in itself is um, questionable because you've got mm. Orake and Kaipara saying that they won't perform in it. Look, we're in Auckland's biggest city and if the government can't get more than three or four people to perform a pōwhiri, they're in trouble.